ABC's Steve Osinsami has been covering this case from the start. Uh, he joins us live from Georgia. Uh, and Steve, this judge was extremely careful to explain his rationale before handing down these sentences. He was. It was a very powerful statement that he read from the bench talking about the actions of the three men. But some a couple things stuck out to me. One of the things that he pointed out is that Travis McMichael and Greg McMichael, Travis McMichael, who murdered Ahmaud Arbery, shot him. His father, who was also in the truck, he says that there was a frame in the in, in the video that really stuck out to him. And that was is that after the killing, they turned their backs on the young man as he was dying in the street. Uh, they were not at his side trying to help him. Um, there are a lot of people who are looking at this case here in this state who to this day still believe that these three men did nothing wrong. The prosecutor in her statement said that she felt that the defendants probably felt that way today. And proof of which is that the video that sort of exposed all of this was released by one of the defendants who at the time thought that it was going to exonerate him. These sentences today help disprove that notion. They are strong sentences, life in prison without parole for two of the other two defendants, life with parole for the third. And even in his case, he's 50 some years old right now. He will be 80 years old before he is even eligible for parole. So this is essentially life in prison for him as well. It is a powerful verdict. It was a powerful statement. None of this, of course, will bring back this young black man who was killed. But as you heard the judge today say, there is a need to change the perspective of what is right in the streets as it relates to a young black man who did nothing wrong and was jogging through a neighborhood. David. Steve, the judge also told Americans who are watching that perhaps of our neighbors, we should assume the best in them, uh, not the worst, that that perhaps is one of the greater lessons of this case. Uh, Steve pointed out that he talked about that piece of evidence with the McMichaels turning away from the crime after it was committed. He also talked about the five minutes uh, that it was estimated that Ahmaud Arbery was running, running away from that pickup truck, and in a fairly dramatic fashion uh, showed the court what just one minute feels like. The judge silent for one minute, saying that represents just a fraction of the time that Ahmaud Arbery was running from that vehicle. Again, moments ago, Travis McMichael, who shot Ahmaud Arbery and killed him, sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. His father given the same sentence, life without parole. The third man, William Roddy Bryan, the neighbor. Life in prison with the possibility of parole. As Steve Osinsami points out moments ago, he's already uh, in his 50s. That means he would be well into his 80s before any chance of getting out of prison.